my troopers popping in this bitch popping in this bitch me and my troopers popping in this bitch popping in this bitch me and my troopers why hello again Hi, my name is Mr. J3T, aka Big Sexy, aka the Kentucky Cannon, aka the World Class Badass, aka Chocolate Thunder with a Caramel Swirl, aka Black Lightning with the Peanut Butter Filling, aka the Man of the Century, aka your favorite YouTuber's favorite YouTuber, aka the Living Legend, aka the Top Guy, the Top Guy, excuse me, and today we're going to be talking about Jordan Peele's new movie, Nope. Yes, it's called Nope. So, Nope is about these two siblings named OJ and Emerald. And they live in a little town where one day, hor their horses start to go missing. Not only do their horses start to go missing, uh, weird stuff falls out the sky, like coins and keys and all that. Later, they come to find out that a big-ass alien is coming down and sucking people up and eating people slash horses. And now they gotta... And now they're thinking, hey, let's take a picture of this thing and sell it and get rich. So that's what they try to do they try the whole movie is them attempting to take a picture of this thing so they can get rich off of it and that's the plot so it's shot well i like the movie a lot i liked the shots in this movie i like some of the longer takes that in this movie uh there's one take in particular where oj played by a Daniel Kaluuya is uh, walking into this little fairgrounds and it's a pretty long take and we see him try to bring call out one of the horses to come to him and as he does you see this big old alien thing in the sky just coming down towards him faster and I like I like some of the longer shots in this movie too not quite long takes suit pseudo long takes yeah that's what i call them pseudo long takes i like those sort of longer shots with no cuts uh they aren't completely long takes but they aren't cuts either so i like some of those shots too uh everybody did a great job in here uh daniel kaluuya did a good job uh, kiki palmer they, they're the siblings that they play uh i was disappointed because uh Keith David is in this movie and we barely see him and it's like you're gonna waste a perfectly good Keith David and we're just not gonna see him for most of the movie that kind of sucks like because Keith David is awesome and I wanted to see more Keith David and we didn't get to see him and that sucks because you know that's spawn you got spawn right there and you're not gonna use him like uh, I was sad about that but oh well um, I, I liked the twist of this movie, the twist being that, uh, the spaceship looking thing is the alien, uh, cause I feel like a lot of people coming into this movie would think that, uh, you know, you would get the stereotypical aliens, aliens, uh, the more traditional looking aliens, so I was kind of surprised when I found out that this little spaceship looking thing was the alien and I was I was surprised and I I was with it. I like I like that little twist. That kind of transforms this movie from like an alien film to like a creature film. Uh kind of like jaws in a sense, but instead of a shark in the water, it's an alien in the sky. Yeah, that's the best way I can describe this. It's just like Jaws, but alien and in the sky. That's the best way I can describe this movie. Uh, it, the design of the alien, uh, it just looks like a, it looks like a spaceship. 
but there's one near the end it turns into this little it turns into this kind of actually kind of beautiful looking creature and it would be beautiful to look at if it wasn't down here trying to eat you but yeah it's pretty cool to look at that would make that would actually make for a pretty there's a shot in here that would make for a pretty dope ass wallpaper so uh, I like the design of it too. I like how suspenseful this movie is, because scenes with the where you just see uh, uh, this alien in the sky just moving from cloud to cloud, and when it eventually goes down and tries to suck people up and eat them, it's pretty suspenseful. And watching characters try and run away from it. It's it's pretty suspenseful. It 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 gets you on the edge of your seat a little bit because uh, just like Jaws, uh, we don't really know what's up there. So to see this alien just zip around from cloud to cloud and just and just descend upon you like a like a shark is pretty damn cool and pretty suspenseful. Uh, now, there's one character that I liked in this movie, but again, we don't get to see much of, is Steven Yun's character, uh, Jupe. Uh, I liked, I liked him. I thought he was a pretty interesting character, but he's another character, just like Keith David's character, where we don't really get to see him that much. And I was kind of sad about that, because, like, Steven Yun is great, and we don't really get to see him that much, and it's sad. Uh, but I understand why we don't see him, that why he's not in the movie that much. I understand why. I understand the narrative. But at the time, I didn't like that. <clears throat> Speaking of Stephen Young's character, Jupe, uh, there's this whole side plot with. Uh, Jupe and his character. Uh, Jupe is a childhood actor, right? He was a child star who starred in this TV show where essentially him and his family adopted a monkey and or a chimp, excuse me, and raised that chimp. But something went wrong in the uh, set one day and the chimp just goes crazy and starts beating everybody to death. Uh... Steven Young's character is hiding underneath a table and he sees all of this happening, right? And I'm not going to tell you what happened about... I'm not going to tell you about the whole side plot because, you know, I want y'all to watch it yourselves, but uh, that whole side plot, I didn't really get it at first because they introduced it and then soon... they, And then as soon as, like, they show show it... Uh, they just go back to the main plot and they don't revisit it. So I was a little confused on, on why they introduced that whole side plot to the movie anyway. And uh, I wasn't the only one that was confused because uh, a lot of people seem to be... Other people seem to be confused by that whole uh, subplot. And... It, it wasn't until I looked it up where I was like, oh, okay, that's... Okay, I get it now. Uh, basically, that side plot is basically an allegory for a... You can't tame a wild animal, basically. Uh, and that whole allegory plays into Stephen Young's character, Jupe. Uh, that whole allegory plays into his character later in the movie... I'm not going to tell you how, but it plays into the character, uh, into his story. Um, you can't tame a wild animal, and uh, on the set, they tried to, t they tried to control him, they, they, the chimp, they tried to tame him, but run, one misstep, one wrong move, and that chimp just goes crazy. So uh, that was basically the whole uh, reason as to why that was in the movie. So when, once I got it, I was like, okay, I get it now. Okay, yeah, nice. So 
big I'm big brain now. I'm big brain, big brain, super big brain now. Uh now OJ kinda he kinda made me mad a little bit in this movie, not gonna lie, because uh at first when they find out about the alien, uh OJ's sister, Emerald, uh she or M uh, she initially brings up the idea to, hey, let's take a picture of this and get some money out of it. And OJ kind of just follows along with it. Uh, but once she finds the alien, once she sees it in action, she's ready to get the hell out of there. But OJ wants to stay and says, I got a mouse to feed. Because the whole thing is that they're basically horse trainers. They rent out horses to all these big Hollywood studios and all that for scenes and all that and uh once something happens to their dad I guess I can say that right I guess I can say yeah uh once their dad dies uh which by the way that's not a spoiler it's in the trailer so once their dad dies um the farm basically goes they're on the verge of getting bankrupt so I understand why OJ wants to stay here and like take a picture of the alien and try and save the farm and all that but on the other hand it's like you got this big ass alien right that's coming down sucking people from the ground and eating them right you got this big ass alien and you want to still stay here and take a snap picture of it like I understand why he wants to stay there I understand it I get it but like at the same time fuck the horses get out of there <laughs> I, yeah, it's he just made me mad. He kind of, I wouldn't say mad, more frustrated. Because, I again, I get it. I really do get it. But it, I don't think it's worth it. Potentially getting eaten. So, uh, yeah, I just, he made me, he frustrated me. His character frustrated me a little bit. Uh, I get it. But it's frustrating that he still stayed, that he still wants to stay. But maybe that's just me. I don't know. But if me personally, I would have gotten the hell out of there. I would have been in Mexico by <laughs> by the time by the time I saw that alien, I would have just been like, I would have did. I would have said the title me of this movie. Nope. And I would have been in Mexico or Canada by then when shit inevitably hits the fan I already would have been like yeah I would have been in Mexico I would have been in Canada I would have been far away <laughs> from that thing so yeah it was it was frustrating but I get it uh, there was some actually some really nice uh, gore sequences in here too it's the movie's not that gory but there's a sequence where uh, the alien hovers over the house, uh, the siblings, OJ's and uh, M's house, and uh, you hear all the people screaming inside, right? You know, screaming, because understandably screaming, because they're inside a big-ass alien. And uh, you hear a chomp, and the screaming just stops. And all the blood just comes pouring down not just the blood but all the coins the keys phones all that just comes pouring down the house and uh it's a really cool shot um <laughs> uh my brother actually made a really good point i want to go watch this movie with my brother and uh he just said oh god the smell must be awful <laughs> and I just said yeah 
Yeah, it, it should be awful because, you know, all the blood is dry by now. Like, ugh, it, it, it must have smelled awful. You know, you're going to need a lot of Febreze to get the smell out of the house. A lot of Febreze. And I'm, even then, I don't think Febreze would do it. <laughs> uh, but all in all, I really liked this new movie by Jordan Peele. Uh, if I had to rank the Jordan Peele movies, it would be Get Out, Nope, and Us. That's how I would rank them. Get Out is probably still the best. Nope, I'd say, is up there with Get Out. While Us, it's still good, but uh, I prefer this movie and Get Out over Us. So that's how I rank it. Get Out, Nope, Us. Uh, the act, everybody did, all the actors did a great job. All the actors did great. Uh, it's a very suspenseful movie. I liked the twist in this movie about the giant saucer being the alien. I liked that twist. Uh, I liked pretty much everything about, there's not, there's not a lot that I dislike about this movie. And with that being said, I gave it two thumbs up. With a J3T stamp of approval. So yeah, uh, go out there and watch it. I recommend it. You won't be disappointed, or I hope you won't be disappointed, because all of this is, of course, my humble opinion on the movie. So I hope you won't be disappointed. But, yeah, that's about it. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. But if you really... And I mean, really, really like me? Thank you for subscribing and ring that bell so you always know whenever I upload. Because it is free, goddammit. Don't be a dum dum. Subscribe today. Deuces.